Today we're going to be doing our chest, triceps, and shoulders. So let's go ahead and get started with a quick warm up. I believe the best warm up is just doing whatever compound movement you want to do without any weights. And that's what we want to do. And then if you have five pound plates, you're gonna grab those. And we're gonna do some lateral raises. I like to at least get some blood flowing into the shoulders. That way you're not totally cold on the first lift. Now you're gonna bring it in front of you. Okay. We're gonna do that one more time. Just nice and quick. This is really just for you to practice your form. That way when you have weight on the bar, you want every rep that you do to look exactly the same as the first rep. And if you can't practice with no weight on the bar, then you're definitely gonna mess it up when you do have a lot of weight on the bar. All right. Grab our plates again, five pounds, something light. Okay, now in front of you. All right, and now I want you to choose your weight wisely. We are gonna be doing supersets with this incline bench press along with um, our cable presses from the bottom. So right after we do the bench press, we'll be doing the cable presses. So make sure whatever weight you're picking, it's not too heavy. We are gonna be doing four sets of this. And if you want, your first set can be pretty light, like just a single plate on the bar. That way you get a feel of what this is gonna be. And if you think you can go heavy, by all means do so. I've already set up my weight on the cables and in about 10 seconds, I'm gonna start. But you should be pretty warmed up. Your shoulders have enough blood going through them. And, uh, your chest is nice and ready to start pressing. <laughs> okay. Set a timer. You're gonna grab the cables. 
and begin. All right, so uh, the reason why I'm choosing to do this is because I personally don't have a heavy dumbbell with me and most of you don't have a whole stack of dumbbells either and so this way by, uh, by supersetting the incline with the cables you can get the same effect as if you would if you were to use dumbbells instead and the pump is much better too. Let me set my rest timer. And notice how whenever I am pressing this, I bring the bar close enough to my chest, but never really resting on my chest or bouncing on my chest in order to just push the weight. Whew, I'm tired and I'm out of breath already. <sighs> okay. <sighs> just make sure you're breathing, okay? Recover yourself. In through the nose and out through the mouth. So, um, with what I just said, I'm not gonna go up and wait. I might for the last set, but um, yeah, I don't know yet. I might or might not. And I don't want you to hurt yourself, so I don't want to promote any of that heavy lifting on this channel right now. But we are about time to start a second set. If you're ready, let's go. Okay, set my timer. Grab the cables now. Set my rest timer. Hold on a second. Oh, not rest time. There we go. Oh my, I'm tired. Whew. Two more. We can get progress so far. Ooh, and if you need to stand, I like standing just because it helps me move the blood around and just shaking my, my body because sometimes your muscles get too tight, which is not so well when you're trying to achieve peak contraction. Oh yeah. I think I'm gonna go up just a little bit though. I have tens over here. But like I said, feel free to go up at your own pace and risk. If you do plan on going a lot heavier than what you're normally used to, definitely use any safety bar if you have it. Again, I mean, we have these here, but I'm not going super heavy today. 
And yeah, so I don't need that right now. But if you do go heavy, you might need a lot longer to allow the muscles to recover. Are you ready? So, this one. Okay, picking up the cables now. Oh, one second. I can't even do that many. <laughs> okay, set the rest timer. Let's see here. So since this is the last rest, sorry, <laughs> the last set here, we're gonna reduce the weight. And this time, when you're coming down, you're gonna pause for like, just count to two, like two seconds, and then press the weight. Yeah, just twisting it up a little bit. So let me drop it back down. It's keeping it pretty dynamic. And if you want to reduce the weight on the cable as well, you can do that. Get more contraction. Okay. You know what's funny? I have like all these racks to hold the weight and I always just put it on the ground anyways. <laughs> That's so funny. One, two, press. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One more. When you're ready, we're gonna grab the cables. There we go. And for this one, you're gonna just hold it at the top for two seconds. One, two. That's a nice, good squeeze. Okay, so we're gonna switch it up a little bit here. Um, we're gonna first lower the bar about two notches down. If you have your bench, just make it flat while you're doing that. We're gonna be doing some decline bench presses. And so what I'm gonna do is add two 
10 pound plate underneath the uh, bottom part of my bench. That way it is elevated, not like at a deep angle, just enough for you to release the pressure that is probably on your front shoulders. That way this is just gonna be purely targeting your chest. And to do that, we need to reduce the weight first. Probably gonna just put it on the bench. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Bring that down. Five, two. Perfect. Okay. So generally, you can bench press about the same weight decline as you can incline, maybe even more. So it's okay to just use the same weight for this. And if you want, you can uh, either keep the weight on the cable the same, or you can reduce it, because we're gonna be doing supersets with this. Only three sets of this though. So nothing too crazy. Let me set my rest time. All right. I'll give you some time if you need to pause the video to switch the bar or lower the, the bench, go ahead and do so. But for those of you who were doing this with me, I think you're ready, and I'm gonna go ahead and start right up now. I'm gonna grab the cables, the same thing. And uh, I'm gonna stand up with this and <laughs> I didn't show you. So we're gonna just cuff it up. Like you're uh, bringing, like you're scooping some water or something. So, yep. Okay, uh, that was a little too heavy for me. I'm gonna reduce the weight. If it is for you to go ahead and do that. <laughs> so let me come back here. I just want a nice, easy contraction. So let me just do just 20 pounds. Should be good. Okay, so like I said earlier before, I don't have dumbbells. I'm assuming you don't either. And so the decline is a good variation of the bench press to allow you to really get a good squeeze. And then pairing it up from the bottom cable really allows you to target, you know, mid, lower part of your chest a lot easier. And I think it's time to go again since I did all of that. So, let's go. Okay, let me bring this up a little bit. All right.
Okay. Oh, we're gonna stand up. So grab your cables and begin. One more set to do. Oh man, I am beat. And it's really out of here. Okay. Oops. Put this microphone back on. Is it even on? Oh yeah, it's on. Okay. Oh Ooh, man, middle of Ju July, July. Oh, it gets hot so easy. Okay, we have one more set to do, and then um, after this, we're going to transition into our triceps and then we'll come back and finish up with our shoulders and so i'll give you about 10 more seconds and we can go ahead and do our last set here oh yeah all right perfect Ooh, oh, wow. Ah. Yep. Okay. Now we're going to grab the cables from the bottom. Oh, Ooh. okay. So we're gonna move this and just bracket somewhere you wanna put it. And you're gonna bring the cable all the way to the top for us to do some tricep extensions. And we might superset that. Okay, one second. We're done here. I'm just gonna throw it down. Throw. Okay. I like using this, this straight bar for this. So. But if you want to use um, the rope, you can use that as well. But I'm starting with the straight bar. And then we're going to superset with some close grip bench presses. And so um, 
add some weight to the Smith machine portion, or if you don't want to, you can keep the free bar wherever it was, even after you just took it down. But we're gonna bring it down, and uh, we'll be doing tricep extensions, right into the close grip bench presses. It's a lot friendlier on the Smith machine since the bar is in a fixed position. There we go. Okay. All right. Whew. That was a that, that that took a long time. Let me put this up here. So, this is ready. Hopefully your Smith bar is ready. And if you don't have weights on it right now, go ahead and put some weights on that. And uh, I'll give you like 10 seconds or so and we can start. But basically, hold on, one second. Basically, this is gonna target the upper horseshoe. And then this is gonna target the lower part near your, um, your elbows. So we're gonna hit both both of them in a nice, fun superset manner. And uh, if you want to <laughs> add some more weight on to the cable, okay. All right, but yeah, if you feel like the weight you're starting out at isn't hard enough, add more weight, okay? Assuming you can keep good form. I'm just gonna jump into this. So your hands are gonna be right about where the inside of your shoulders are, and that's perfectly normal. Okay, and we press. And if you need to slide back, just do so if the position is uncomfortable for you. All right. That was one set. We have two more to go. Let's put the rest timer on. Ooh. We're making pretty good progress. My plan is to get you in and out of here in 40 minutes, maybe 45 minutes. Uh, and so after this, we're gonna be doing some dips and then we'll transition into our shoulders and that'll be it for the workout. That was, I can go up. Yep, I'm just gonna add some weight. Ow, ouch. Let's go. Second. There we go. Back. Now to the Smith machine. Okay. Okay. 
Whew. Oh man. All right. So usually when uh, when I stop short of where I feel like I want to be, <laughs> I like to rest for a quick second and then try to at least get two or maybe even three more um, reps in. That way I'm keeping the workout intensity always high for myself. And so the, the, the timers I have on here generally is going to allow you to perform like anywhere from 10 to 14 reps depending on how fast or slow uh, you are what you are with contracting your muscles in the movement that way everyone can kind of follow along and get a good workout from the recommended time stamps throughout the video and so for me I'm doing like maybe 10 sometimes 9 because I go pretty slow with my reps but if you are somebody who does things a lot faster you might be doing like 14 or even 15 pumps in to the rep for the exercise this is the last set and so we're gonna go extra hard on this one okay Now, if you want, you can step back a little bit, allow your triceps to hang, and then just go ahead and get as much in as you can. This is considered cheating, but because we're at the end of our exercise, you can still get a good contraction and really stretch out your triceps by doing it this way at the end. And just, just force the weight down as hard as you can. Very explosive. Five more seconds. Whew. All right. We're gonna wait like 10 seconds before starting this. Whew. Normally when you go that intense on a workout and you do a superset after, it's always good to let your your heart and the surrounding muscles kind of rest for a little bit before you jump into the next exercise. That way you can at least attempt to do the same level of intensity on the second exercise. And that was like 30 seconds. So let's make this one count. Oh. We're not done yet. I'm just really tired. <laughs> we have a few more left. Come on. Oh my. Okay. Woo, that was good. That was very good. I'll reset it. So. We're gonna do some face pull. Um, I think that was a really good finisher for the triceps. If your triceps aren't pumped yet, uh, you wasn't going hard enough. And so next time, make sure you do. Um, but for this time around, we're almost out of time here and I want to at least get you a really nice shoulder movement into this workout. And so we're gonna be supersetting face pull and if you have dumbbells or if you have plates around, we're going to superset lateral raises. Uh, so similar to, what, similar to what we did early on, but you're going to use a 10 pound, this 
go around. Or if you have 10 pound dumbbells, you can use that instead. All right, so just get this ready. Let's do, let's do this first set and then I can explain more in a second. Grab the weight, and we're just gonna lateral raise this. That's it. All right, now, generally when I do my shoulders with my chest, because the bench pressing movement, even the incline bench pressing movement, that is going to target a lot of your front deltoid. If you didn't notice from the first two exercises that we did, I, I hope you were going hard enough. But when you're doing that, it's kind of uh, redundant for you to do shoulder presses on the same day because you're just going to be targeting your front delts a lot more and instead I like to put more of my focus on the back of the shoulders and the side of the shoulders and for the past 10 years 11 years or so that's how I've been doing chest and shoulders together and um, you you can't really tell because again from the bench presses you're going to develop really really big front deltoids and a lot of people neglect the back because they think shoulder presses are going to target everything, but it really doesn't. And so if you perform it this way, even if you don't do any shoulder press for like a year, you will still develop a pretty big front delt, especially if you are lifting very heavy weights on your bench presses or even the incline bench press. But that was my rant and I went over the rest timer, but that's fine, okay? I wanted to give you a break. <laughs> and so, now that you're ready, we're gonna go ahead and do another set. All right. Just make sure you squeeze at least for like one second and release. Grab the dumbbells on your plate. One more set to do, and then I'm gonna add something really funny at the end, and we'll be done for the workout. I feel like I'm over the 45 minute timer, 
But that's okay. Um, these things kind of happen. You plan for 40 or 45 minutes to work out and then you end up doing a little bit more because you got into the groove of things and you were having so much fun <laughs> doing the movements. Oops. Let me move this back. That's okay. Oh, if you can, keep that lowered. Put like a 10 pound on it. After this set, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do next. You don't have to do it, but if you do it, you're gonna love it. Love it. Grab your dumbbells or your plate, and we're gonna start. Oh, wow. Oh, I am so weak right now. Listen, if I can push through this, so can you. Okay, we're almost done. Whew. Two more. Come on. One, two. Okay. For those of you who are done, thanks for watching. Uh, check out my other videos, of course. For the few of you who want to stick around for just for just one more exercise, then go ahead and lower this all the way to the bottom. Okay. You're gonna remove the handle. As a matter of fact. Take all the weights off of the cable, and I mean all of the weights. Okay, we're just going to be doing some cable lateral raises. I love to finish off with this. I'm just gonna cross it over. And we'll do like two sets of this, but really high volume, okay? Since there's no weight on there, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be a problem, okay? There's just some things that when you have like dumbbells and plates in your hand, you're fighting against gravity, but for some reason when you're doing cable, you kind of feel the whole contraction on the way down as well as on the way up. Even if it's not a really good cable machine, you still feel something more on the cables than you would with conventional dumbbells and a plate. And this is a great movement to finish off your shoulders. Allow you to go all the way up and down. Okay. We're gonna rest for like 30 seconds and do it again and that's gonna be it. I hope you like this one. This is my favorite shoulder workout movement that I like to finish off with. Sometimes I even start off with this depending on what I'm doing sequentially for the workout day. But for today, this is good and I hope you enjoy it too. So five more seconds, okay? Three, two, one, grab your cables and let's finish off nice and strong. This is how I got so muscular, you, you know? I would always spend like an extra 
10 minutes in the gym. Compared to everyone else, and over time, it just paid off. So if you slept around this long, you're definitely on a good track. And I guarantee you, you're gonna build one heck of a physique just by going an extra 10 minutes in the gym when everyone else is leaving. Two more. One. Two. Woo. Oh man, I'm beat. Man, woman, whatever. <laughs> Square, circle, triangles. All right, um, anyways, listen. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet and you have been watching this whole time, I mean, you might as, you might as well just subscribe, okay? I'm gonna try to do a, a back workout next, so it, it'll be like your back, biceps, and your forearms, and then also gonna do a leg one. Uh, so trying to do the push-pull leg sequence for these next three videos coming up. Make sure you check those out. I know the push-pull leg is a really popular program and that's why I'm doing it now and yeah so if you enjoyed it give me a thumbs up comment below what you enjoyed if it was a good workout if you think the workout could be easier or harder because I have had that question asked before just let me know and I can modify this for those of you who still want to do the push pull leg but cannot handle a full-on 45 or even 50 minute workout. Let me know and I can make that happen for you. Or until then, I will see you in my next video.